This is a short tutorial to explain you how to quickly insert your artwork within Photoshop thanks to the Smart Object layer. Once you've downloaded your file, you open the PSD file into Photoshop and you come into your Layers panel here and you will see two to three layers. One is the background where you have the whole scene in one layer. Then on top of it will be your smart object layer where you will insert your artwork and sometimes you will have an extra locked layer which is a duplication of a little part of the prop that sometimes goes into the frame area. So what you're interested in is this layer here. So you can either right click and edit contents or double click on the little icon and it will bring you to this new window here. It's a new tab. So your file is here and the new tab is here. And from now, all you need to do is drag your PDF, PNG, JPEG, whatever artwork, finished artwork piece you have into this layer. What I've done here is I've just created a quick example in Illustrator that I'm going to simply copy and paste as a smart object here. I would always advise the smart object if you're pasting from somewhere else because it will not become pixelated or it will not become blurry if by any chance you have to increase the size of it slightly. It will stay very good quality. So it is a little bit heavier, but it's much, much worth it. So I find this to be a little bit too big. So I'm just gonna resize it approximately to what I want it to look like. And that's it basically. Once this is done, all I need to do is save this layer. So either file save or what I've just done is the shortcut command s and you close this layer and it will bring you back to the main mockup and basically that's it um, just a little information by default this will be set as multiply which means it multiplies it with the background below it so it sort of multiplies it as in it it blends it with the layer that's underneath it which means it looks a lot more real the little trick here is if you left it as normal, you would definitely see that there's a sort of digital artwork coming on top of a photography. And, and photography is, is lovely, but if you mix it with digital that has a digital look, then it's just not going to work. So it either has to look real or it has to look completely digital. So on this case, because I'm working with a white background, I want it to stay multiplied so it looks as real as possible. Obviously, sometimes you can have different sort of paintings and different illustrations that can have, you know, a different colored background, in which case simply play around with the different um, options that you have here and you'll quickly see which ones are going to work best for you. So once you're done, you just save it as web. So you come here and it's in export and save for web. You have a shortcut here that I always use, um, which just goes a lot faster. So by default, I always save it as a JPEG um, 100 quality, which is the highest. Um, this is the normal size file, but if you are going to upload this as a featured image on your online shops, you might, or you might already know it, but you might want to maybe choose a slightly smaller size just to make sure that it's good enough, but not too big either, so that it doesn't take too much time to upload. And you just save it and you're done. Um, if you have any questions or any feedback, please do not hesitate to email me or comment on this. This is my first video, so please bear with me. I'm just getting started. Um, but I do hope to connect with you a bit more in the next few weeks. And if you've got, like I said, any, any suggestions, please let me know. Thank you.